If you have a Dodge Durango or a Jeep Cherokee that does this, I'm going to show you how to fix it and possibly save yourself hundreds of dollars as opposed to going to a dealership. Now, I've already reached in here and got this part here loose. This is the latching mechanism right here. So when the door here closes, it locks in right there. Two tabs on the top. You bend them down lightly, okay, because they go behind this lip right here. I'll show you when I put it back together. But uh, got to be light on those because they will break and the bottom just sits in a trough. So we're going to pop this here out and then we're going to end up taking this whole thing out all together. If I got some tape on the top and down here on the bottom because I'm going to pry on this. There's four tabs, two on the top and two on the bottom that hold this whole unit in. I'm going to take center ring off. All I'm doing is I'm just working this rubber gasket here around the filler neck. Also, you might not be able to see it. I'll show you when it's out here, but this here right here, that's a drain. That is hooked to a hose on the back side, which we are going to have to unhook as well. All right, guys, we got it partially out here. I'm going to show you. Here's the drain tube. It runs back down to your fuel tank. So when you spill it in here, it just goes all the way back in there. This here is on somewhat of an angle. So when you're trying to get this out, you're going to have to bend this towards the back of the vehicle in order to get it out. But let's take it out and see if we can find our spring. Okay, so here's our spring. Not attached to anything. It's not broke. Just not attached. All right, not certain if I showed you, but when I brought this out, this pin was up about a half an inch. Now, you got to find out where this actually wants to sit because when because it has to come out the bottom. Okay? So you basically you line your door up push the pin back down a little bit comes out the bottom here when it comes to putting the spring in it just comes up through the bottom here loops around and connects right here now we're going to get this thing put back together we're going to put the drain plug on first and of course the reassembly is just the reverse of the disassembly so i'll get this put back together and i'll be right back all right let's see if we got this thing fixed i'm going to perch you guys up over here Eyeballing that door right there. It would appear so. That's probably about a 15, 20 minute fix. The biggest hassle is getting this nozzle out of here. That's the biggest problem. Uh, something I would have done different. Once I get this edging here out, I would have tried to put a small diameter rope around the nozzle in order to pull it towards the back of the vehicle because this here has got tension on it going this way here uh, this piece right here the locking mechanism um, it mine fell down here so I had to reach down and get it and bring it back up also you might want to tie a small string on that just to just make it easier for you to get back up out of the bottom of the car but other than that it uh, all snaps right back into place I think it was Gonna wipe some grease off of there before Jen sees that. No more rattling door. And then it goes. Oof, I got it dirty. Anyway, I hope that helped you out. I saved myself three or four hundred bucks by not going to a dealer to get it done. That's all I got for today's video. I hope that all helped you, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later. Here's a bonus hack for you. In the back of your Durango, if you take this here out, which I don't feel like taking it out, but if you take this out, there's a tab with a wire on it right over here. You pull that, and that'll open your gas cap. While looking at this here, earlier, I come across this, and I'm wondering, what the heck is that? Now, keep in mind, we have owned this car for six or seven years. I've never seen that before. 
Check this out. Push it and it comes off. That is a flashlight for the back of your vehicle. Who would have thought? Obviously I didn't because I did not even know that was there. See ya.